when you drill down to the heart of it, one thing becomes clear. The AI tool you're using to help cheat on your history essay or to find a recipe for tonight's dinner was fine-tuned by a real person. Behind the development of your favorite AI tools like ChatGPT, there is an army of human workers trying to make sure AI is trained on quality data. ChatGPT just doesn't automatically know things. It's a large language model that needs to be trained by people. These workers grade the performance of leading AI models through a process called Reinforcement Learning Through Human Feedback, or RLHF. It could involve teaching a chatbot the correct dates of World War II, or showing an autonomous driving system how to identify a stop sign. RLHF is better known as data labeling, and just like Uber drivers and DoorDashers, data labelers are gig workers paid hourly wages without benefits. Data labeling is an enormous business. All of the biggest developers of large language models, such as Google, OpenAI, Microsoft, and more, have relied on this form of gig work and the startups that provide it at one time or another. One 2022 study found there are millions of data labelers working across the globe. Among the most significant data labeling startups are the companies Scale AI and Surge AI. Though both companies have different approaches and public profiles, the data labeling work they provide as middlemen is the same. In fact, it's the same throughout the data labeling industry. Almost always, the workers have no idea what companies are behind the AI products they're training. Every LLM developer is identified by a code name. For instance, Scale used the code name Bulba, that's B-U-L-B-A, yes, like the Pokemon Bulbasaur, for Google. And even the data labeling platforms themselves aren't tied to their parent companies in any visible or transparent way. While both Scale AI and Surge are enormously successful, each has been the subject of different class action lawsuits over alleged labor law violations. Let's start with Scale. The company was founded in 2016 by the now 28-year-old billionaire Alexander Wang, who grew it into a giant through partnerships with Google, OpenAI, and other leading LLM developers. Scale is so prominent that Meta invested $14 billion in the company earlier this year, acquiring 49% of the firm at a $29 billion valuation. Wang, for his part, now works for Meta as its chief AI officer. Scale outsourced a lot of its business, especially in its early days, to gig workers in developing nations such as the Philippines and Nigeria. Reports over the years in outlets such as the Washington Post and The Verge indicated that workers abroad were often not getting paid. Those allegations of non-payment followed scale as it expanded into the United States. Eventually, a Department of Labor investigation was opened into the company, but it ultimately went nowhere when the DOL decided to change its priorities. Surge AI is a bit different. Instead of courting venture capitalists, Surge's founder and CEO, Edwin Chen, claims the company made a billion dollars in revenue last year and has never taken outside investment. Still, Surge was accused by some of its data labelers of violating California labor laws earlier this year in a class action lawsuit. So, while chatbots offer conveniences that make your life easier, it's worth thinking about the human labor that made the AI explosion possible in the first place. After all, without this army of human workers, the product wouldn't even exist.